Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Good morning. All right. Let me make sure my cameras are set up here so you guys can see me a little bit. Oh. All right. I think we're good. All right. Happy Monday, everybody. For those of you who are new, my name is Maddie. I am the occupational therapist at Elite Therapy Solutions. I currently work at the Westchester as well as the Coastal Clinic, and we also provide home visits. So for any of your PT or OT needs, you can stick around to the end of this video. I always leave the number to our main office at the end if you'd like to give us a call. If you don't know if you need or want PT or OT, we are always happy to consult with you. All right, as with any exercise program, if at any point during your workout, you begin to feel faint, dizzy, or have any physical discomfort, please stop immediately and consult with a medical professional. It is Monday, which means we are going to be doing leg day. So we've got a few leg exercises. My cameras are pushed all the way back and I'm having contact issues today. So I don't know what's going on, but I have my list of exercises next to me instead of propped up so I can see them a bit easier. So if you see me looking down over here, it's just me looking to see what we have planned for the next exercise. All right, we're gonna get started with our warm up stretches. So even though it's leg day, I like to stretch out the arms a bit. So take that left arm, reach it across your body, give it a good stretch. Good. We're gonna switch arms in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and bring that right arm across, give it a good stretch. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop those arms. Take that right ear, put it down towards that right shoulder. Stretch out the left side of your neck if you need to. Pull that left shoulder down. You'll definitely feel it then. We're gonna change sides in three, two, one. Left ear towards left shoulder, pull that right shoulder down if you need to. Good. We're going to come back to center in three, two, one. Go ahead and drop that chin down towards your chest. Roll the tops of those shoulders forward. Get a good stretch across the top of your back. And hold for three, two, one. Roll those shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, open up your chest and point your chin towards the ceiling. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Come on back to center. All right, you're gonna give me five neck circles. Either direction doesn't matter to me, but please don't make yourself dizzy. Good. Once you've given me five in one direction, go ahead and give me five in the opposite. Good. All right. Get all this hair out of my face. Once you're done with that, we're going to stretch out those legs a little bit. I want you to take those arms, reach them up nice and high over that head. Roll that body forward slowly, keeping those legs nice and straight. 
reach for those toes. You'll get a good hamstring stretch in. That's the back of your legs. Really reach for it. Good. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly roll that body back up. We don't want you to lose your balance. All right, next stretch. If you need to hold on to something like a counter or a stable chair, please do so. We're going to stretch out those quadricep muscles. So pick up that right foot, kind of tuck it in towards that tush. You'll get a good stretch right in your quadricep muscle. That's the front of your thigh. You can do either leg, doesn't matter to me, but hold on to something so you don't lose balance if you need to. Good. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop that left right foot down. Pick up that other foot, whether that's your left or your right. Whichever one you didn't just pick up. Good. Continue to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop that other foot down. We're going to stretch out the inner thighs a little bit. So you're going to take a giant step out. You're going to keep that right leg straight or the left, whatever you'd like. You're going to bend the other knee, which means the one leg is going to stay straight. You'll get a good stretch right on that inner thigh. Hold on to something if you need to. We're changing sides in three, two, one. Lean the other way. Bending one knee, keeping the other straight, getting a good inner thigh stretch. Back to center in three, two, one. Good. Last stretch we're going to do, we're going to stretch out those ankles a bit. You're going to come up on those tippy toes, rock back on those heels, up on the toes, pull those toes up and rock back on those heels. So you're kind of using your feet like a rocker board. Up and back. Don't fall over. Good. We're going to stop in three, two, one. All right. Grab a sip of water. My throat is dry. All right. First exercise. We're going to be doing hip abductors. Abduction means moving away from the body. So we're going to do one leg at a time. For these, I'd like you to remember, stand up nice and straight and tall, keeping that spine straight. You're going to kick the one leg out to the side as far as it will go without you bending. Don't bend that knee. Don't bend that back. We're just kicking it out to the side, coming back to center. We're going to go for 10 hip abductions, right leg first. Then we'll switch and do the left. All right, here we go. One. Two, three, go at your own pace, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten, good. Switching sides, doing the left leg, same thing, kick it out but don't bend that back. 10 times, here we go. One, two, three. Get it up as high as you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't fall over. Nine, last one, and 10. 
I will say if you're doing these on carpet, it will be more challenging because your feet have to balance a little bit better. So if you can, try and do them on hardwood floors or laminate. All right, next up is going to be our hip extensors. So you're gonna, I'm gonna turn to the side so you guys can see. Instead of going out to the side, this time we're kicking that leg back and then back to middle. Notice it's not a huge movement. I'm not bending the knee, arching that back, rounding that back. We're standing up nice and straight, kicking it back only as far as it will go, and then back to center. We're gonna do 10 on the right, then we'll do 10 on the left. Same thing, take your time with it. Hold on to something if you need to. All right, here we go. Kick it back, back to middle. That's one, two, three, my hips popping, four, five, halfway there, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That really works those leg muscles if you're on carpet. All right, switching sides, doing the same thing. Ten on the left. Here we go. Kick it back. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one and 10. Whew. Carpet, carpet, carpet. All right. Next up is going to be our standing marches. So for these, I want you bringing those knees nice and high. These are high knees. It's a march, not a run. So we're not running in place. We're just bringing those knees nice and high as best as we can. All right, we're doing 15. You're alternating legs right and left. Bring them back down before you step again. 15 standing marches. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it up. Nine, ten, eleven, four more, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, last one, and fifteen. Good job. All right. Next up, if you'd like to use a weight, you are more than welcome to, but you don't have to. We're going to be doing our partial squats. I say partial because I want you to go down only as far as you're comfortable going. If you can do a full squat and you want to do a full squat, have at it. I'm very proud of you. I probably won't do a full squat, but go down as far as you'd like. We're going to do, oh yeah, I got 12. We're going to do 12 partial squats. So feet are shoulder width apart. You're slightly bent at the knees, keeping that back nice and straight. Stick that tush out like you're sitting into a chair. Your chest kind of comes out. When you come up to the top, squeeze those glute muscles before going into your next repetition. All right, 12 partial squats. Go down as far as you can. Here we go. Squeeze, that's one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, keep it up, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one and 12. Good. Whew. All right. Two more exercises. 
We've got it. Our next one, I'm going to apologize. Facebook's camera loves to zoom in on me. I don't know why. I have tried fiddling with it. I can't fix it. Cameras are pushed back as far as they can go, so I do apologize, but I can't change anything about it at this point. Um, we're going to be doing calf raises, so I'm going to explain these in detail, and then hopefully you guys have got it. So, feet are shoulder width apart. You are going to be coming up on those toes, like you're reaching for something on the top shelf. Come up on those tippy toes, okay? Squeeze those calf muscles at the top, meaning I want you to tighten those calves, relax, and then drop those heels again. Your toes will always remain on the ground. Heels are coming up. That's why they're called heel raises or calf raises, okay? Make sure you're squeezing calves at the top, and we're going to go for 12. Hold on to something if you need to. All right, here we go. Up, squeeze those calves. Relax and lower. That's one. Two. Try not to let those feet roll out either. Three. Nice and straight. Squeeze. Four. Five. Up and squeeze. Six. Seven. Eight. Keep going. Nine. Ten. Two more. Up and squeeze. Relax and lower. That's eleven. Last one. And twelve. Good. All right. Last exercise is going to be our knee flexion. I'm turning to the side so you guys can see this. Standing up nice and tall. You're bending that knee, kind of bringing that heel back towards your tush. Kind of like you're, I don't know, picking that foot up for some reason. When you pick that foot up, you're squeezing all the muscles in that leg. That means your quadriceps, your hamstrings, your calves. Tighten the muscles of that leg, then relax and lower it back down. We're going to do 12 on the right, then we'll do 12 on the left. All right, here we go. Squeeze and lower. That's one. Squeeze. Two, three, four, five, squeeze, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Two more. Eleven. Last one. And twelve. Good. Turning to the other side. Same thing. Squeeze all those muscles. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. Oh, I'm sorry, not last one. Ten, two more. <laughs> Eleven, now it's the last one. And twelve, stuck in that earlier class. All right, one minute off, grab a sip of water. Please remember to stay hydrated during these exercises. We're gonna come back. We've got two more rounds of those exercises and our cool down stretches.
right. I don't know about anybody else. My legs are already burning. Hopefully your, yours are too. All right, we are going to get started on our second round. So we're gonna start with those hip abductors. Bring that leg out towards the side of your body and then back in. We're gonna do 10 on the right and the left. When you guys are ready, here we go. Kick it out, back in, that's one. Two, three, four, go at your own pace, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. We are switching sides. Same thing, ten times. Here we go. One, bring it out as far as you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, lost my balance on that one. Nine, last one, and 10. Good. Told you, carpet's difficult. All right, moving into our hip extensors, turning to the side so you guys can see. Kick that leg back as far as you can, then bring it back to middle. It doesn't have to be super high. We're not rockets. I don't think I'd want to be either. All right, 10 hip extensors on the right. Here we go. Kick it back. And to center, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Whew. Switching sides, same thing, 10 times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten good <sighs> deep breath we're moving into our standing marches so get those knees nice and high we're doing 15 alternate those legs here we go one two three get those knees high four Five, six, seven, eight, keep it up, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three more, thirteen, fourteen, last one. And 15, good. Whew, I'm already sweating. All right, moving into our partial squats. Remember, go down as far as you'd like. If you wanna hold the weight, you're more than welcome to, but you're gonna give me 12. So whichever, whatever you decide to do, make sure you commit to it. All right, 12 partial squats, stick that tush out in the back, squeeze those glutes when you come to the top. Here we go. One, two, go at your own speed, three, four, five, six, halfway there, seven, eight, nine, 
10, two more. 11 and 12. Good. Woo. All right. Sweating, sweating. We're moving into our calf raises, heel raises, whatever you'd like to call them. Remember, you're coming up on those toes. Squeeze those calf muscles at the top, then relax and lower 12 times. All right, here we go. Up and squeeze. Relax and lower. That's one. Try not to let those feet roll out. Two. Three. Four. Make sure you're squeezing those calf muscles. Five. Six. Halfway there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Keep going. Ten. Two more. Eleven. Up and squeeze. Relax and lower. That's twelve. All right. Keep the train moving. We're going to do our knee flexion. So remember, this is where you bring that knee up, kind of bring that heel towards that butt, gluteus, buttocks, whatever you'd like to call it. Squeeze all the muscles of that leg, your calf, your hamstring, your quads. Tighten that leg up. All right, 12 on the right. Here we go. Squeeze and lower. That's one. Don't have to squeeze for too long. Two. Three. Four, five, six, good, halfway there, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one, and twelve. Good. Turn to the other side. Same thing on the left. 12 times. Here we go. Squeeze. Back down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one, and twelve. Good. All right, one minute off. We got one more round of these exercises. You guys have got it. We're doing great. All right, 20 seconds left in your break. One more round. We're gonna start that round with those hip abductors again. Remember, don't arch that back. Don't lean with it. Just bring that leg out as far as you can while keeping that spine straight. All right, 10 on the right. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Good. Switch legs, same thing on the left. Here we go. 
One. Two. Three. Not nearly as flexible on this side. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Whew, my legs are burning. All right. Moving into our hip extensors. Kick that leg back. Don't arch that back. Don't round it. Keep a nice straight back. Ten on the right. Here we go. Kick it back. Back to middle. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good. Switching sides. Ten on the left. Same thing. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good. Whew, whew, whew. All right. Moving into our standing marches. Get those knees nice and high. We're doing 15 of them. Here we go. Get them high. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, keep it up, thirteen, fourteen, last one, and fifteen. Whew. All right, got to keep that heart rate up. We're moving into our partial squats. Go down only as far as you're comfortable or as far as you'd like. Hold the weight if you want to. All right, you're giving me 12. Here we go. Squeeze those glutes at the top. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Whew. All right, good job, guys. Moving into our calf raises. So remember, or heel raises, whatever you'd like to call them. Toes stay on the ground at all times. Heels come up. You're coming up onto those tippy toes, squeezing those calf muscles. Relax and lower. 12 times. Make sure you're squeezing. Here we go. Up and squeeze. Back down. That's one. Two. Try not to let those feet roll out. Three. Four, five, good. Very thankful the air kicked on here. Six, halfway there. Seven, eight, nine, keep going. Ten, two more. 
11, last one, and 12. Good. All right, last exercise in this set. We're doing our knee flexion. So remember, tighten all the muscles of that leg, quads, hamstrings, calves, everything. Squeeze those muscles. 12 on the right. Here we go. Squeeze. Back down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, last one, ten. Oh, I'm sorry, two more. <laughs> Eleven, it's a Monday. And twelve. We did that the first round, too. All right, left leg, twelve. Here we go. Squeeze all those muscles. Back down, that's one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven. And 12. Good. Hopefully you're squeezing the muscles. All right. One minute off. Take a break. Grab a sip of water. Then we're going to start our cool down stretches. While you guys are uh, taking your break, I'm going to take this opportunity to um, inform you guys if you missed last week's announcement. We will be adding in-person exercise classes in addition to these online ones. So we do these online ones Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The earlier class at 9.30 is a seated, uh, easier class. And then the 10.31 is the more challenging class. That will stay Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The in-person exercise classes will be starting next week on Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. It will be with another exercise instructor. And it's going to be in the parking lot of BVAA. I'm not entirely sure if you have to register. That would be a good question for uh, Bill or somebody at BBAA. But you can always contact them, and they would be happy to talk to you about it. So don't forget, exercise class is still here Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and in person. There's only going to be one class, I believe, at 10 a.m. on Tuesdays and Thursdays. OK. I took your entire break telling you that. We're going to start with our cool down stretches. So when you're ready, take that left arm, reach it across your body, give it a good stretch. I can blow my nose afterwards. Good. We're going to switch arms in three, two, one. Bring that other arm across, stretch it out. Good. Hold for three, two, one. Drop those arms. Take that right ear. Put it down towards that right shoulder. Stretch out the left side of your neck. Switch sides in three, two, one. Left ear towards left shoulder. And hold for three, two, one. Back to center. Drop that chin down towards your chest. Roll the tops of those shoulders forward. Get a good stretch across the top of your back.
Hold for three, two, one. Roll those shoulders back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, open up your chest and point that chin towards the ceiling. And we're gonna hold for three, two, one. Come on back to center. All right, you're gonna give me five neck circles either direction, doesn't matter to me, but please don't make yourself dizzy. Good. Once you've given me five in one direction, go ahead and give me five in the opposite. Good. Ooh, got all the terror in my face. All right, once you have your vision back and you can see straight, we're gonna reach those arms up nice and high over the head. Slowly roll that body forward, bending at the hips, not at the waist. Keeping those legs nice and straight, reach for those feet. You'll get a good hamstring stretch in as well as a good back stretch. Keep those legs straight. Good. We're going to slowly roll our bodies back up in five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come on back to standing. We're going to stretch out those quads. So pick up one leg. If you need to hold on to something, please do so. Just be safe. Good. We're going to continue to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Drop that right leg, pick up that left or the opposite if you did the opposite. Excuse me. Good. We're going to hold for another five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and drop that other foot. You're going to come up on those toes, rock back on those heels. Use those feet like a rocker board. Good. And we're going to stop in three, two, one. Good. All right, last thing we've got to do is our three deep breaths. We breathe in through the nose, blow out through the mouth, breathe in for the count of four, blow out for the count of four, three times. Follow along with my fingers if you need help with the counting. Here we go. That's one. Two, last one. And that's three. All right, guys, that's going to complete our Monday morning workout. Thank you so much for joining me. To get an exercise plan customized to your specific needs, please call 610-594-2060 to consult with a licensed healthcare professional at Elite Therapy Solutions. Thanks again, guys, and I look forward to seeing you all on Wednesday. Bye.